Telescopes from around the world have spotted this incredible sight in the furthest reaches of space. The glowing streams here are a radio jet, and they're coming out of that bright object in the middle. That object is called a quasar. They are some of the brightest objects in the known universe. The phenomenon dates back to the first one billion years of the universe, so roughly 13 billion years ago, making it one of the earliest radio waves detected from that period. The jets are estimated to be 200,000 light years across and to end double the width of our Milky Way galaxy. And a little closer to home, the NASA astronauts who have had to stay in space for months beyond their original departure date now have something concrete to hold on to. NASA has announced a specific day to bring Butch Williams, Wilmore I should say, and Sonny Williams home. Tom Costello has more. I'm at your feet, Sonny. Okay. For months, NASA has insisted Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are not stuck in space. They have a space capsule lifeboat in case they'd ever have to abandon the space station. Ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. But Butch and Sonny launched on a 10-day mission back on June 5th. Their return trip delayed because NASA didn't trust Boeing's troubled Starliner to bring them home. Instead, they were reassigned to SpaceX Crew 9, staying on station until February. Then candidate Trump called on Elon Musk to bring them home sooner. You know, he's going to send a rocket up very soon to pick up the two guys. How would you like to be stuck in space? They can return when SpaceX Crew 10 arrives to take over at the station. But then Crew 10's February launch was also delayed. President Trump posting on Truth Social, I have just asked Elon Musk and SpaceX to go get the two brave astronauts. Now NASA and SpaceX say Crew 10 will launch on March 12th. Butch and Sonny should then come back a week or so later on Crew 9. This is my happy place. I love being up here in space. In January, Sonny Williams joked that she's ready. I'm trying to remember what it is like to walk because I haven't walked, I haven't sat down, I haven't laid down. You don't, you don't have to. You can just close your eyes and float where you are. Former astronaut Mike Massimino has been in touch with Sonny. When they get back on Earth, are they going to feel the effects, which some astronauts said they've actually kind of felt sick when they get back to Earth? They're going to be adjusting their vestibular system. Their balance system will be off maybe a little bit at first, but they'll get that adjusted. They should be plenty strong and healthy because they've been exercising every day. But uh, it's always a bit of an adjustment. Eventually, we want to go home because uh, you know, we left our families a little while ago, but, uh, but we have a lot to do while we're up here. We've got to get all that stuff done before we go home. Tom Costello reporting. There has been plenty, by the way, for Butch and Sonny to do in space from, of course, the day-to-day -day chores of keeping the space station functioning, carrying out scientific studies, even got to stretch their legs at one point with a spacewalk. Very unusual when she said, you could just close your eyes, go to sleep, I, just float. What a strange concept. Very and then to come back bizarre. and experience gravity again, it's going to be weird. Mm -hmm.